Hello students, in this video we'll see the solution to the fourth problem in the quiz. In this problem, we're given that the mean and variance of x are 3 and 9 respectively. The moment generating function for x is given by this series, a0 plus a1t plus a2t squared, etc. Which of the following is a representation of this quadratic polynomial, a0 plus a1t plus a2t squared? We recall the definition, so that the mean of x is the expected value of x. That's given to us as 3. The variance of x is equal to 9. Now the variance of x is the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x quantity squared. And that is equal to 9. But we know the expected value of x is 3. So this over here is a 9. That tells me that the expected value of x squared is equal to 9 plus 9 or 18. So I know the second moment of x is 18. I know the first moment is 3. Now recall that the moment generating function mx of t is the expected value of the exponential of tx. And what it is, as an infinite series in t, is it is 1 plus the expected value of x times t. That's the first moment. And then it will be the expected value, so I have the second derivative of this, will be the expected value of x squared over 2 factorial t squared, and so on and so on and so on. Because if I did the first derivative with respect to t of this and plugged in 0, I would get the expected value of x. If I did the second derivative of this thing, I would have 2t times 2t times 2, and that would cancel out. And so what I see from this is I see that the a0 term is going to be 1. The a1 term is going to be the expected value of x, so that's going to be 3. And recall, of course, that if I, do, if I look at t squared over 2, the first derivative of this, 2 factorial, will just be t, and then the second derivative of this will be 1. So the second derivative of m at 0 is just going to be the expected value of x squared. And so that tells me that a2 is going to be this expected value of x squared, which we just found over here to be 18. So it's going to be 18 over 2. And that's going to be 9. So that tells us that this polynomial is going to be 1 plus 3t plus 9t squared. And that's the solution of our problem. Thank you very much.